All right, today we're going to cover how you can measure airflow in a paint booth. The reason you may want to measure an airflow in a paint booth is to determine whether maybe you have an issue with your fan or to determine if your paint booth is operating according to recommended standards. So a tool we're going to use is called a Dwyer Venometer. They're about $70 online. The key thing is you want to make sure it's one that's rated for zero to f at least 150 up to 400 feet per minute. Uh, assembly of the tool is easy. You'll see it comes with a little flap that you insert into the side of the tool. And then we will simply use this in the booth and get a measurement of how much speed of air is being uh, drawn across the face of the booth. As I mentioned, in a cross draft design like we have here, air coming from the front to the back, we'd expect the air to move at about 100 feet a minute. If you're significantly lower than that, you'll probably see overspray start hanging in the air of your booth. If you're significantly faster than that, you're just taking a lot of air out of your building that may not be necessary depending on what the booth was designed for. Some booths will be designed to move air faster if you had a long duct run or a similar situation or if maybe you bought a used booth that had a higher powered fan than originally needed because of the application it was being used for. So we'll go ahead and show you how to use the Dwyer Venometer. Uh, you can use this in any cross draft booth with ease. A downdraft booth, we'll go over some options in a little bit. Uh, show you some online choices to measure air in a downdraft or similar configuration. All right, we have the venometer in the paint booth. When you do these measurements, you'll be doing this in a few different areas of the booth to make sure you're getting relatively equal draw across your booth, which in a properly designed booth, the airflow should be relatively consistent in all areas. The way the tool works, we want to make sure it's on a level surface and that this opening is allowing the air to pass through and hit the little vein, as it is called, inside this device. That vein is movement shows us how much airflow we have in our booth. In our current booth, we're actually a little underpowered. Uh, this is an older booth and it was designed a while ago. And if you met, you, we're getting anywhere from 20, we're getting in the 25 feet of uh, air movement range. Now, if your air rain flow isn't where you want it to be, there's a variety of things to check. First would be to check your filters to make sure they aren't overly uh, dirty. Dirty filters slow down airflow in a paint booth as they load up with paint. After that, you can check your fan, your exhaust fan, to determine if there's excessive paint buildup on the blade or maybe the fan isn't drawing a proper amount of amps or power to properly deliver the volume of air out of the booth that it should. If those aren't the issues, you may have an underpowered fan or a variety of other things contributing. But the first step is to determine how fast your air is moving, and from there you can begin to evaluate some of those ideas mentioned to see if they're what's causing your issues with airflow.